Hello and welcome to this roundup of spoilers and plot twists of the books that I read this month. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot when you're watching Random Olive Reads. This is my monthly series talking about just the spoilers and plot twists of the books that I've read. My other videos are usually spoiler free and just give you the plot and my overall impression, but this video will go straight for the conclusions which you may or may not have seen coming. A Gentleman Ought to Know by Jane Ashford is book four of the Duke's Estate series. This book has a meddling young lady trying to investigate the cause of a Marquess's parents' murder. With a bunch of suspicious injuries around the estate, we find out that the Marquess's own servants were spying on him and trying the, to halt the investigation about his parents. Just Wicked Enough by Lorraine Heath is book two of the Rogues and Roses series. This book has, has an impoverished Marquess who auctions himself off into marriage to a wealthy bidder and ends up with a lovelorn wife who is pining for someone else. Turns out the guy she's pining for was actually her husband for a few months until her parents forced an annulment. The Rate Gets Ravished by Sophie Jordan is book two of the Duke Hunt series. The oldest sister of a country farming family tries to protect her family by stealing back a debt voucher from a gambling hell owner. Some extra drama happens in the last third of the book when the unappreciative younger sister tries to elope and then needs some rescuing. Rogue Most Wanted by Jana McGregor is book five of the Cavendish Heiresses series. There is a bit of a problem with the new countess claiming her title since the original charter describing the inheritance plan has gone missing. It turns out the countess's senile grandfather had hidden the charter inside a sentimental tree. Wild Wild Rake by Jana McGregor is book six of the Cavendish Heiresses series. There's a new vicar in the town with a rakish reputation, and all of the young ladies are smitten. A young debutante sets out to marry the vicar by claiming that he ruined her, but she's really just trying to get out of an unwanted betrothal, and by the way, she's pregnant with the farmer's baby. Nobody's Darling by Teresa Medeiros is a Western historical romance novel. A lady is looking for the outlaw who supposedly killed her younger brother. The outlaw didn't have anything to do with the brother's death. The brother isn't actually dead at all. And by the way, he's a wanted criminal. Bed Me Baron by Felicity Niven is book two of the Bed Me Books series. This book is a friends to lovers romance where an engaged lady asks her friend for lessons in the marital bed so that she'll know what she's doing with her husband. Before she's able to make any decisions about who she'll marry, her father passes away. Her friend comforts her in the only way that uh, he knows how to comfort her. And a few months later, she has to marry the guy who got her pregnant. The Duke Gets Desperate by Diana Quincy is book one of the Sirens in Silk series. The previous duchess died under suspicious circumstances and left her castle to a cousin rather than the stepson who expected to inherit it. The housekeeper was the one who lured the old duchess up to the tower and pushed her off. The Tattooed Duke by Maya Rodell is book th three of the Writing Girl series. A newspaper reporter disguises herself as a maid in a duke's household to collect gossip about him. Our reporter admits to having been married and deserted once upon a time, only to find out that her lying husband was already married to someone else, making her secret marriage invalid. Earl of My Dreams by Sylvie Sinclair is book one of the Romancing the Rogue series. A lady's childhood crush is pursuing her cousin, but the lady has overheard that the guy wants to avoid love and have just a practical marriage. Our guy wants to avoid love because he thought that he was in love with his first wife and pursued her so aggressively that he made her miserable. And then she died. Despising the Duke by Stevie Sparks is book two of the Lords of Desire series. This one is a second chance romance where the Duke and his best friend's sister were forced apart due to circumstances and reconnect 16 years later. The lady was pregnant all those years ago and sent a letter to the Duke begging him to marry her. 
But his well-meaning cousin intercepted the note, believed it was somebody manipulative, and then sent a cruel letter back to warn her away. His cousin had no idea that he warned away the love of his cousin's life. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Links to all of these books are in the description box. Like and subscribe to get updates. And you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.